what's up guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'm coming to you with my fall and winter favorites um, I have a variety of items ranging from food to hair products so if you are interested in learning what those are stay tuned okay so the first item is a drink and it's actually a Starbucks drink um, and it is the eggnog chai tea latte and so I'm not a coffee person and I actually don't go to Starbucks or like caribou any of those places on a frequent basis but this is one that I really do like um, and it's one that I wanted to try because last year I heard a lot about the eggnog latte and then I asked them if they had a version that was not coffee um, and so they said they could do a chai tea latte so I will say it is really sweet um, so it isn't something that I would drink like on a daily or weekly basis or anything like that um, but I think next time something to cut down on the sweetness is if I get the chai tea tea bag versus them pumping the chai uh, spice syrup um, but I do really like it and it I don't know it makes me feel like the holidays are coming which they are I can't believe it's November already but yeah this is something that I've been liking for the last few weeks well no for the last week now uh, since they got the eggnog back in stock for the season so yeah I've really been liking it alright so the next item on my list is also a drink and it is the San Pella I think it's Pellegrino sparkling water oh my goodness it's so good I don't know where I've been all these years <laughs> um, but this is so good I usually get the I think it's a six pack now at Target um, of the 16.9 fluid ounces and I usually drink this like in the morning on the way to work um, so I, I really like it what I do is I usually squeeze um, a half of fresh lime in it and oh my goodness so so good <laughs> All right, so moving forward, I'm trying to put the sort these into categories. So these are the next two are hair products. This one is the Curls uh, Control Paste, and I've been using this for probably about two years now too. Um, and I use the blueberry one as well, um, and I get these from Target. The passion fruit one, which is this one, is $7.99 at Target, and then the blueberry one is $8.99. I'm not really sure why there's a why there's a price difference between the two scents, um, but I believe one is a harder hold than the other. I'm not re really sure offhand which one is which, um, but I really do like these. I'll insert a photo of what my hair looks like when I wear this or what my edges look like, um, but it, I feel like it does a good job on my hair of slicking my edges down. Um, and if I'm putting it up in a bun, this is usually all I use other than like a, a leave-in conditioner to moisturize my hair. Um, I will put it on my edges and smooth it down with a soft bristle brush. Um, and then after I tie my hair up in a bun, I'll tie a scarf around the front of my hair to lay down my edges and I usually wear that into the wear that in the car on the way to work and so like 15 minutes later take it off before I walk into work and I'm good all right the next hair item is the Trader Joe's tea tree tingle conditioner and so this is another one that I've been using for a few years now um, but it still is my favorite it'll probably be my favorite for a while hopefully forever unless they discontinue it um, so this is usually the conditioner I I use every time I condition my hair unless I'm like on vacation and don't have this on hand or um, I'm trying out a different conditioner just to try it out but I really like it it's definitely affordable too it is you get it at Trader Joe's obviously and it is $3.99 um, and it's called the tea tree tingle because your scalp does kind of tingle <laughs> when you have it in your hair because it has peppermint oil and then it has the tea tree in there as well um, so I've I think it's pretty, um, to me it's pretty cleansing for a conditioner, so it definitely doesn't strip your hair or anything like that, um, but there's been a couple of times where my hair was kind of, I don't know, for lack of a better word, clunky or a little bit dirty, um, but I think it does a good job just to be a conditioner, and it, like I said, it's cheap, so usually I buy like two or three at a time, um, and they last me about three to four weeks 
at a time. So it's not something that you have to buy as frequently. Um, so I do stock up a couple times a year on this. All right, moving into beauty. Um, so what I've been loving for the last probably week and a half <laughs> so far is of course none other than the Fenty Beauty. Um, and so I don't even usually wear makeup. I'm not a makeup girl. Um, just because, well, number one, I feel like it takes too much time to do a full face of makeup. And so if I'm, if it's a work day, I have to wake up like 30 minutes earlier just to do my makeup. And so the, it's not worth it for me. But, um, the Fenty Beauty, I'm in the color 390. Um, and I really like it. It looks really natural. Um, and so the last few times that I have worn makeup, I've been wearing the Fenty Beauty um, and so I've, I heard a lot of things about um, it really being something that is not designed for dry skin and I have predominantly dry skin but I haven't had any issues with like flaking or feeling like my hair my uh, skin has been dry after applying this so I like it because it doesn't cake it's not caked on to my face and it doesn't look like I have on a foundation in my opinion um, so that's something I like about it that it gives me that natural look and then outside of just the foundation and I also have the two of the matchsticks um, so I have the I have the suede matchstick you probably can't see that Anyway, but it, it's suede. So this that is the one um, that is supposed to be more of a concealer for my uh, foundation color. And then I have the matchstick and truffle. And you probably can't see that either. But, and this one is supposed to be for contouring. So I like it a lot. And I like that they are magnetic and you can clip them together. I think it's cool. I think her packaging is pretty dope too. But yeah, so this is what I have been using um, recently when I am in the mood to put on makeup. The next item is kind of random, but uh, for me it helps when traveling and especially if you guys are traveling a lot for the holidays is something that can help you if you're um, flying and having to go through TSA. Um, so this is a toiletry bag and so I've never had one of these before. And so usually I put all of my liquids in Ziploc bags and then have to take all of those out of my bag for TSA to put those in a separate bin. And this has simplified my life so much. And then I also like that it has a hook on the top because um, if it's something that you're wanting to even put your, your things in, um, you know, at home, you can hook this on the bathroom drawer. But... I recently went to LA and I hooked this on the back of the hotel bathroom door and it was just convenient to like keep all of my things in here um, and then also not have to like spread out all of my stuff over the counter in the in the hotel room um, and it's also really convenient because then I don't feel like I need to use and waste Ziploc bags because they have like the clear cases too so it's really convenient and then like I said when going through TSA all you have to do is pull out this one bag and you know have all your toiletries in it versus like what I used to do have several bags that I have to plop into a TSA bin and so I know they have these on Amazon for like somewhere to 20 to 25 bucks but I bought this one at Target on a whim um, for 25 bucks and I love it so far the next item, if anyone knows me, they know I love scarves. So um, specifically infinity scarves too. Um, I don't usually like like regular scarves anymore. I don't know the proper name for them. But yes, I love infinity scarves. So this one I got from H&M like probably two winters ago now. Um, I really like the like mustard color of it. Um, and it's just really cozy. And I like the fact that, something that I like about Infinity Scarves is that you just throw them on and then you can put on a jacket and you don't have to worry about tying them a specific way. Um, so I really like this one. This is like the thickest one that I have and the coziest one I have. So I usually wear this like in the dead of the winter. So I live in Minnesota, so it gets pretty cold. And the other one, 
I have a lot of scarves. These are just like the two favorites that I've been wearing recently. This one is a thinner one um, and it's green and it has, I don't know what this is supposed to be, a floral print? I don't know. It's cute. Both of these, I believe, came from H&M. I know this one came from H&M and I believe this one did as well. And I can't remember what the price was since it was two winters ago, but um, I have seen um, sweaters in H&M for like around 15 to 20 bucks, so I would assume that's the price range for these as well. And the next item I have is actually a candle. Um, I, I'm in love with candles. I love them so much. Um, and this is the one that I have been loving most recently. It is from um, the new brand at Target, Hearth and Hand, and that's by Chip and Joanna Gaines or the Fixer Upper crew from HGTV. Um, and so this one smells so good. I've been burning it like every day. It's called Balsam and Spice. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and so I didn't pay for this one. My boyfriend gave me this um, because it was a gift given to him from Target and he doesn't use candles. So this one is, it says it's $19.99. Um, but it smells so good and I just love candles overall especially in the fall and the winter um, I just feel like it makes your house look so much more cozy um, and then I just like the scent of them as well so this one has a like a well it's called balsam and spice so it is definitely has like a, a spiciness to it um, but I also feel like it it smells kind of like a Christmas tree I don't know maybe it's just me but it, it smells good and the last item is a book. And so it is the, it's Gabrielle Union's new book, We're Gonna Need More Wine. I love the name of it because I love wine. But then also, I don't know, I just, I've been watching her more and more lately and I've fallen in love with her um, and I wanted to get her book. And so I haven't read a lot of it yet. I read one chapter and it was hilarious so far. Um, I just like how open she is and she talks about um, her struggle growing up and even in the industry as well and so it's just for the most part short stories about her life the things that she's learned and so I'm very interesting and going to start reading more of this soon but I love it so far even uh, after just chapter one <laughs> So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for all of my favorites. I will try to link all of the um, items below if you're interested in buying them or checking them out for more details. Um, but thanks so much for watching again. If you have any questions, feel free to put those in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much guys. Bye. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Oh shoot. I don't want a water bottle in there like that. All right. Anything else? Ugh, I don't want that in there either.